All right, guys, welcome to episode 71 of In the Shop with Customers. We got the latest enclosure I just finished up here for two Scar Audio VFX 12. This is one of our low fabs enclosures right here. Uh, we're going to go over the specs, the size, dimensions, pricing, all that kind of stuff for you guys and uh, give you a more in depth, detailed look at this thing. All right, so here we go. Like I said, this is for two Scar Audio VFX 12. This is one of our low fabs enclosures. They come in bare wood or bed liner finish. This is the bed liner finish, obviously. We got the slot port, triple baffle. Make sure these subs are not gonna flex. We got the flush mount, custom Lowe's logo on the front. This black bed liner finish actually looks really nice on this thing. We got the SMD terminal in the back which comes standard on the low fabs enclosures. Uh, for sizing, this thing is actually pretty big. Normally a sub forward, port forward setup, you're gonna put in a trunk. Um, this is gonna be for you guys with the bigger trunks for sure. Uh, I definitely wanna make sure you guys check the dimensions that are listed on each listing of all these low fabs enclosures. Um, I'll have links in the description for the low fabs or at least my website, you guys can go check them out. I got all of them broken down into each brand and which ones I offer. They're basically a pre-designed enclosure which you can get much quicker and much cheaper than our custom options. And uh, these are limited to bare wood or a bed liner finish like I've said before. Um, this enclosure here is 17 high, 31 wide, 20 deep. Now the 31 wide and the 20 deep is not a concern for fitting this in a trunk. It may be the 17 high. Now I have a a Cadillac DeVille or Cadillac yeah Cadillac DeVille um, a 2003 and this size enclosure fits in there no problem because I have a larger trunk opening but you guys just want to make sure you double check every time you're ordering one of these enclosures I'd hate to build one of these and it not fit in the car for you um, as far as tuning goes this thing is tuned to 33 Hertz you got 3.4 cubic feet after all displacement that includes subs port and the bracing that is in there as well. Um, before displacement, this is 4.9 cubic feet. We got 42.63 square inches of port area in here. The port is 15.5 high and two and three quarters wide. This thing definitely looks good. This thing slam. I've had a couple customers um, actually buy the design for this because you can buy this on the five dollar pre-made designs and build this exact enclosure yourself i've had a couple customers build it um 
and they've actually said they really enjoy the output of it and everything. I also have one I just finished up. The last video I posted actually, or one of the last videos I posted, the customer got his enclosure, hooked it up, and he was super happy with how it sounds, and he got the base, the low fabs, this same enclosure, but in a bare wood option. So make sure you guys go check out my website. This is the enclosure here, the low fabs enclosure. These things definitely, I'm not skimping on how I'm building them. They're still built out of the same quality wood. Bed liner is a high quality spray on bed liner. This isn't rattle can bed liner. Got the SMD terminal in the back still, triple baffle. I mean, for somewhat of a prefab box, you're not gonna see triple baffle very often. So make sure you guys go check out my website. Go see all the different brands I offer for the low fabs, all the different variations of subs I have. And also if you're interested in building something like this for yourself, you can go check out the website, order this design. It is guaranteed to sound good. I've had a couple customers already compliment how well this thing sounds. So make sure you guys go check it out. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, that's it. All right, so like I said, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't liked this video yet, please make sure you do so now. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. If you wanna order one of these things, um, go check out my website. You can order one of these low fabs. Um, I need to get the pricing for you. All right, so this enclosure is actually only $319.53. That includes shipping. Shipping is always free on our website. Um, these enclosures are just as good as our custom enclosures. They're just, you get less options, so I can do them quicker because they're something I have replicated before, and also they're definitely a lot simpler, as you can see. So make sure you guys go check them out. They're the same awesome value, um, same quality, just quicker, faster, cheaper. I already said faster three times now um, but either way go check them out guys thank you so much for watching this episode i appreciate every one of you guys make sure you go check out my patreon and my youtube membership program and uh i'll be back with the next video supreme patty build update coming up very very soon i promise um i really want to get it to the point where the truck is assembled before i send it off to get it wrapped um, so i'm building and fabricating every piece of the build as far as audio equipment and um, center console doors rear speakers in the bed or putting speakers in the bed we got a bo big box for that thing going on but i'm building all of it it's going to get sent to a separate interior shop for everything to be wrapped because they're also redoing the seats the headliner um probably the pillars i mean everything this truck is getting top-notch work all the way through but i want to wait till i get it all assembled to actually show you guys because i think it's going to be much easier to explain some of these parts and pieces that i have like drawn across the shop really don't even make sense right now and uh it'd be just a big effort to try to even pull stuff out to to show you guys and then try to place it in stuff to give you a good understanding of where the piece actually goes it'll be a lot easier to do when the truck is all assembled so i'm gonna get that assembled up for you guys or really i'm gonna get it assembled up for those guys because i want to get this truck out of here either way guys i'm getting out of here thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you on the next one